Hi folks, so today I'm working on my house still, so I'm going to shoot some video. I am putting up um, crown molding trim uh, in the entryway to the house. I am shooting a uh, second camera here, probably just made a shake. I've gone ahead and measured and pre-cut all of my trim, and um, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm using a California Air Tools uh, air compressor that I picked up on eBay for $130 absolutely fantastic quiet compressor. I'm using a rigid uh, finish nail gun that uses uh, 16 gauge or 15 gauge nails. So let's see, uh, hopefully this will go in right the first time. Right, yeah. Actually it looks like it could be a little bit wide. So I'm going to switch and do the other end next. It's always important to find the back of this and then slide it straight up to make sure you get the angle right. And this ceiling is a little bit crooked, so I'm just gonna do the best I can and fill in the rest with caulk. So one of the things I do is I mark my trim. I just write in very small letters where it goes. And that helps me make sure that I get the right piece in the right spot. Yeah. So I'm gonna start at this end because this end is gonna get a whole lot more visibility than the other end. So I'll go ahead and twist the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna have a little bit, there's like a, looks like there's gonna be a little bit of a gap on one end of this. Uh, it looks like maybe both ends are gonna have a little gap. This is somewhat common, um, but this is what caulk is for. not as bad as I thought it was going to be but I want to put the bigger gap next to the door because nobody's ever going to look up and see it time to get some more uh, nails so one of my tidbits these are 15 gauge nails um, they're about $20 for a box of 1000 at Home Depot, and if you go on Amazon, you can buy a package of 700 for about $8. Now, beware of the finish because they have different kinds of finished nails. So they have galvanized nails, and then they have just plain steel nails. You know, this is inside in a humidity-controlled house. I really don't think the galvanizing is a big deal, um, so I've chosen not to, to spend the extra money on it. If you were doing outside work, the galvanizing would be a big deal, and so you'd want to spend the money, but um, you, know, you just got to watch your costs on stuff. So again here, I'm going to start on this end. Let's see if I can move this camera where you guys can watch. I 
think that'll be good. Now this side's gonna be a pain in the butt because I can see that the ceiling is not level. And again, this is part of what trim does. All right, so we got this up in here. On the one hand, it's kind of surprising there's a gap. On the other hand, you know, it's an old house. It's not, nothing surprises me. But that's a big gap. Um, so I'll have to fill that with a lot of caulk. Uh, there's really nothing else I could do with it. Um, so you guys can see what I'm looking at here. Yeah, that's a, that's a really big gap. Um, but you know, Caulk will save the day, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like in another video.